Hey, welcome back. We're at Exodus chapter 3 and now verses 4 to 6. I'm going to read them out. Here they are. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. Then he said, Do not come near here. Remove your sandals from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. He said also, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Then Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. So when God's watching here, Moses turns aside and he does. He responds to God's initiative and he comes to him. And as he comes closer to where God is manifesting, you know, his presence in the bush there, God calls out to him and he says, Moses, Moses. And this probably is a familiar sound to you if you've read anything in the Bible, because over and over again, when God calls out to his servants, usually he calls them by their name and he'll call them twice, you know, Samuel, Samuel, you know, Jacob, Jacob. There are times, several times like that when God comes, and this is a term of endearment, you know, when you call the name, the personal name, and you call it twice. So when Moses hears this, it's not like, uh-oh, I'm, I'm in big trouble. The feeling that Moses would perhaps have when he hears that would be, wow, you know, uh, if, this is, if this is what I think it is, then, you know, it's God, and he's a good God, and he, he's, he's talking to me. That, that, would, that would stimulate your, your thought and concern, but if, if God is on your side, it should be a good thing. And what is this? This is God calling Moses to the work that God has set up for Moses. So God is everywhere present, and, and yet, so, so he's everywhere, and yet there are occasions like this one where he represents himself, he chooses to represent himself as being actually present in a physical space. So he's kind of using the bush here to represent himself in a more distinct way. But again, God is everywhere present. And I, and I kind of like the idea that Douglas Stewart has uh, that he put in his commentary. The angel Yahweh was not all there was to God, but was a true and real representation of him, much as a video conferencing call brings a valuable sense of the presence of an individual into a room through a video screen and speaker, visibility and voice, even though the individual is not actually fully present thereby. So, you know, it's kind of like God is present, but right here he's kind of video conferencing with Moses. He's, he's, He's distinctly approaching Moses and using the burning bush as his, as his kind of venue. And yeah, that did attract Moses' attention, didn't it? If you looked out in your backyard and you saw a bush burning off in the far edge of your property, and uh, you, yeah, that would probably get your attention really quickly. And so anyway, Moses sees it and yeah, he goes out there to check into it. You and I would do the same. But there's, some, there's kind of a spiritual component in this, I think, that, that's not clearly evident. This isn't just like a random fire burning on your property. This shouldn't be there. This is unusual. This is out of sync with the normal world. And Moses says, you know, he's, he makes a beeline toward it. And that's the way Moses is. Now, some have pointed out that this burning bush provided light continually. And that it's kind of like the, it was the only place in the desert, you know, there weren't a bunch of other lights or LEDs or something set up there. I mean, this was the only burning bush. And uh, somebody has pointed out too, that this is kind of like in the tabernacle, the sanctuary in the wilderness, that the, the seven-branch candlestick inside the holy place in the tabernacle in the desert, that was the only source of light in there was that thing. And it's kind of like a burning bush. And in fact, the seven-branch seven branch candlestick would look perhaps quite similar to this burning bush, that you might have an echo of this thing all the way down there in the candlestick in the sanctuary, just something to, to, to ponder. So anyway, here then Moses responds that he's ready. Here I am, I'm ready. And uh, he, he's probably kind of trembling. He's fearful. He, he says he hides his face. He's afraid to look. So Moses is ready, but boy, this has got to be, uh, his blood pressure might have gone up a couple notches here. He's talking to the God of creation. And he's in a place where God's special presence hallows the location. All right, some more tomorrow morning.